You know what? I am feeling cautiously optimistic about Dragon Age Veilguard. I really much enjoyed the first Dragon Age Origins, I hated Dragon Age 2, but then I really liked Dragon Age Inquisition, I thought that was pretty good, and I really didn't know too much about Dragon Age Veilguard, of course it's had many many problems behind the scenes with development and people being laid off, which is always terrible. But the, more recently the trailers and stuff, I'm actually quite looking forward to it. Now obviously I'm going to wait until it gets a little closer and to hear any feedback from any bigger YouTube YouTubers that get to play the game before launch, I do not. So I, I'm, I'm there with the rest of you. I got to spend the cheddar to to play it, and I'm hoping it's good. It's also very importantly going to be Steam, Steam Deck verified from the get go, which is incredibly awesome. That's where I play most of my backlog games is on the Steam Deck OLED. Great bit of kit, and if you haven't got one, get one if you can. But besides Dragon Age Veilguard, we're getting some really good games coming out and expansions towards. Well, the second half of this year. Not to mention we've got Star Wars Outlaws coming out in, a, in early access in a few days, which I'm looking forward to. I know a lot of people aren't, and I've made a few videos which are quite controversial. It's just opinions, guys. Just opinions. Calm down. We've also got Visions of Mana as well. That that's re well, Is that out now or just coming out as of recording this? Then next month we have Space Marine 2, which is looking very, very good as well. Looking very awesome, actually, to, to be honest. And I'm a big Warhammer 40,000 player, so I, I'm very much looking forward to that one. We've also got Age of Mythology Retold coming out, which is, you know, again, very exciting, which is always really cool to be able to play that. There's loads. There's e God of War Ragnarok's coming to PC. We, we're getting so much good stuff. Even there's a new Legend of Zelda game coming out on the Switch. Now, I'll be honest, I don't play my Switch much these days, unfortunately. I'm kind of holding out for the new Switch if there's going to be one. But also then in October, we have the Diablo 4 Vessel of Hatred expansion. I'm playing a lot of Diablo 4 at the minute in Season 5. There's a lot of fun. There's the Silent Hill 2 remake as well, which I'm looking forward to. Starship Troopers Extermination gets its final full release and hopefully is... Uh, is good. It's coming out on PC and PlayStation 5 and on Xbox Series X as well, which is shocking because usually a lot of games these days seem to miss Xbox for some reason. There's also Metaphor, which is the, ga ne the next game from Atlas, who done the Persona and the Shin Megami Tensei series. That looks to be really, really awesome as well. And not forgetting Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Now, this game, I'm a big Dragon Ball Z fan, and well, Dragon Ball fan in general, and I'm very much looking forward to it. Not for the multiplayer in any way, shape, or form, but just, you know, <laughs> because... Uh, I, I, I like the story more so than anything else. And of course, Dragon Age Veilguard is coming out. And beyond that, in, Dece in, in November, we've got... Well, I mean, I don't know how many people are looking forward to Assassin's Creed Shadows. I personally am not. I am looking forward to the Dragon Quest Three HD remake, though. That looks to be pretty cool. And Stalker 2 is slated to be coming out then. I doubt it, but there we go. And of course, in December, we have... Indiana Jones and the Great Circle is the big release there. There's also an Alien Rogue Incursions game, which I don't know too much about, but I, it's piqued my interest. But Indiana Jones is the big game for December. And I can't believe I just glossed over as well, coming out in September, the expansion to Starfield, which I'm very much looking forward to. I don't know why I glossed over that one. But we, I'm, I don't know why. It could just be me just being ridiculous, but... It's, the gun, it's looking like it's going to be a good year. Now, I've only mentioned the games that I am personally interested in. If there are any games that you are interested in that I have not mentioned, please put them in the comments down below to let people know what it is you're looking forward to coming out. But I just have to say that I I, th I think we're eating good, you know? I think, I think we're going to be doing very, very well in terms of games for throughout the remainder of the year of course not every game is going to be for everyone but hopefully there is something for everyone and everyone can enjoy of course we're all right on the cusp so we'll see if star wars outlaws is as good as it looks if it's if it turns out to be a complete dumpster fire i will eat my words i will hold my hand up and say do you know what i was wrong because i do think it looks good and i'm putting my stock in that but if it does turn out to be dreadful then that's the way it is and there's nothing I can do about it. I'll just hold my hand up and go, do you know what? I was wrong. Game is hot trash. It doesn't look like that's going to be the case. And I got a feeling that's not going to be the case. Because we all have trepidatious feelings as, as soon as Cyberpunk was getting close to release. 
there was a lot of dodgy stuff that was coming out about it and then it released and a lot of a lot of youtubers and stuff were saying oh it's amazing it's amazing and then the game was not <laughs> so ever since then there's been massive trust issues with video games and pre-ordering and and pre-release and all that kind of stuff but i'd like to think that a lot of developers have learned their lesson from that and are not doing that no more that's why a lot of games these days i think are getting delayed more often than not is because they have to make sure that their games are working on release or working as best as they can possibly make it now don't get me wrong i'm not making excuses all video games should be massively working and 100 percent golden when they are released and are charging full price that is a given unfortunately it's not the world we live in but that's what should be happening. That's like buying a car and then somebody saying, "Oh yeah, yeah, it, um, it, yeah, it's good to go. You can't break." But we're gonna add that in later. Don't worry about it. You know, it's like, no, no, I, I want the whole car to be working, please. So, yeah, that's yeah. So I just thought I'd make a little video, just basically saying what I'm looking forward to coming out for the rest of the year. I'm very cautiously optimistic, but what do you guys think? What are you guys looking forward to? And as always, thank you very much for watching.